welcome to Kenneth Road. My name is Kenneth, and today we have a special mukbang today. It's um, Dunkin' Donuts. This is gonna be a new thing for my end of the month favorites. And today is gonna be September's favorites. Without further ado, let's begin. We got here on the side a Belgian waffle maple bacon sandwich with some hash browns. The donuts we have here is going to be the double chocolate, glazed chocolate, pumpkin, Boston cream, apple crisp, and strawberry glaze. And we definitely got their, of course we got their coffee here. It is their maple syrup flavor. And we'll start off with the coffee. Oh, that is sweet. All right. It's a unique flavor. It's definitely, definitely for uh, an acquired taste. Mm. Mm. Now the hash browns. They have seasoning on there. And it's a larger in a shape to where it's bigger than a bite. Mm. Where do we begin? Mm. Let's go over some of September's favorites. First and foremost, places we go. We went to the LA County Fair. We went to the LA Food Fest. Um, we went to the 626 Night Market. And all great food, all great choices. But I have to say my favorite of all three would have to be the 626 Night Market because the LA County Fair is pretty much yearly and the food is relatively the same, but if you haven't checked it out, here's the 66 night market with the LA County Fair. Over here will be my OC County Fair. Now, they're both different venues, but they both have the same food. So you'll be able to get food from the LC County Fair at the LA County Fair. It's relatively the same, but definitely check out those videos if you are in the mood of it. And let's start off with the pumpkin, being that it is going into Halloween. If you like the pumpkin spice latte, you would definitely like this. It's just like biting into a uh, pumpkin pie, so keep that in mind. Mm. Mm. Now, when it comes to food, September has been a uh, month of adventures. Mm. Obviously, we've gone down the hot dog, the customized hot dog, we've done the, I do plan to do an Indomie, um, and a few other things, but one of the biggest favorites, as you, just, you probably could figure out, is my seafood pollo, which I'll link up here. This is the first time I've done it, especially at home. I recently went to Chicken uh, Crab, which is the same concept, but Definitely, definitely never done it at home. Now this is a chocolate glaze. Mm. Definitely nice and soft. Mm. Simple, can't go wrong. It's definitely just a chocolate one. And the glaze makes it a little bit sweeter, softer. Mm. It's going to the double chocolate. As you kind of figured out, I'm a chocoholic by heart, so. Mm. Mm. It's much more chocolatey than I thought, but it's still delicious. When it comes to September in games and tech, I'm still pretty much holding on to um, my previous months, which is pretty much um, so obsessed with the Switch. 
not specifically Monster Hunter, it's a long game and it's a good game. I'm still playing um, Overcooked with my wife, that's also been an obsession. And here we have the Boston Cream Pie. I will one day go to Boston and have the cream pie. But for now, this will do. This is delicious. Mm. Delicious. Now this is one of their newer specialties, the apple crisp. I'm excited about it. It looks good. It looks healthy. It kind of reminds me of an apple fritter that made into a donut. So let's try it. Hmm. Interesting. Correction. Hmm. This is an apple pie. Mm. Mm. The pumpkin is good. Then the double chocolate. And then probably the Boston cream pie. The others I would probably skip. But now this one. Is a strawberry sprinkled. This one is actually the one that my wife is eyeing right now, being behind the camera right there. Um, she wanted this one, so we're going to get it and try it. Let's rip into it. If you ever had yarn yarns, and those of you that don't know yarn yarn, what it is, it's a little cup where you take the stick out and you dip it into uh, cream and you eat it. The cream on here reminds me exactly of that. So, please stay tuned. I'll do an Asian snack mukbang one of these days with, with yarn yarns for sure and Pocky. So keep that in mind. Or right, stay tuned for that. <laughs> September, September was a month of a lot of uh, food, a lot of mukbangs. Yeah, I, was, I went and have the mukbang this month. And a lot of the, um, a lot of you guys expressed that it was good, that you guys liked it, so I'm going to continue on this trend and bring you more. Mm. And what we have here is a Belgian waffle sandwich. Maple bacon, cheese, egg, and Belgian waffles. Looks good. Nice and warm and soft. Dunkin' Donuts is actually, if in my opinion, one of the best donut shops. The donuts still stay to what donuts is. It's big, it's flavorful. It's quality better than a lot of uh, mom and pop donut shops. At the same time, it's still giving more than what Krispy Kreme does. Krispy Kreme does, gives donuts, but they're like tiny, small. And these are hearty ones, and at the same time, delicious. And this is a surprise. I didn't see this, but at the moment I saw it, I ordered it and had to have it. So, mm. 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 
definitely delicious. This is definitely sweet. Um, that's it for the month of September. I went over all my favorites. All my many food adventures. When it comes to games, make sure you pick up um, Monster Hunter. And in the next two months, there's going to be a lot more games coming out for the Switch. And I'll um, keep you up to date on those. But until our next food adventure, keep eating.